All right, what's going on guys? I got five tips for all you young teenage entrepreneurs. I just graduated with a business administration degree specifically in entrepreneurship, and I've also had many different endeavors in business throughout my younger years as an entrepreneur. So I thought that I'd give you some tips today to hopefully help you avoid some of the mistakes that I made and take your business to the next level. So let's get into it. All right, so the first tip I have is social media presence. And while this topic is really obvious and kind of cliche, and people talk about it all the time, I think it's really important. And while a lot of young people already have a pretty good basic understanding of social media, I think it's really important for entrepreneurs to dig deeper and see how much more they can get out of social media. Because usually you don't have a lot of money to spend on an advertising budget, so social media is the best free way to grow your brand. So understanding better who your target demographic is, how you can better engage with those people and reach them on a more consistent basis, I think is so key. Understanding exactly who you're targeting is gonna help you so much getting started because you can tailor that content to those people. They'll want to engage with you more and they're gonna tell their friends more about you who are also possibly interested in what you're gonna be offering. The second tip, which is collaborations with other creative individuals, kind of builds off the social media thing because a lot of these creatives, like photographers, videographers, models, music producers, whatever it may be, they're all looking to build their portfolio or their brand as well. So finding a way to have your product, service, um, or whatever kind of brand that you may have fit with theirs is gonna double the exposure for both of you and it's gonna reach people that you didn't even anticipate in the first place. While I said it's important to have a specific customer archetype, it's important to build off of those ripples and see who else exactly would be interested in what you're offering. The third tip would be to keep your specialization small. Being really good at one thing is a hell of a lot better than being kind of good at a lot of different things. While you may be tempted to increase your product offerings or your services or just your brand presence in general, I think it's really important to start in a specific niche and then build out from there. Obviously, you branch out as your career develops, but starting at a place where people know you on a consistent basis is gonna help you more than you know. My fourth tip is to start doing and stop waiting for the perfect opportunity. And I'm guilty of this myself. I have a lot of friends who are guilty of this as well. You know, you're waiting for that perfect partnership. You're waiting for that brand to shout you out. You're waiting for funding maybe. And doing nothing and waiting is the perfect way to get you nowhere. Whatever you can do to get started, whether it's, you know, prototyping, whether it's brainstorming, whether it's just talking to other people and meeting with them, that's better than doing nothing, sitting back and just waiting for the stars to align. And finally, I would recommend you to network like crazy. I can't tell you how many times I found someone where I said, I can't see any way for you to fit in with what I'm doing, but they end up being such an integral part of my success that I can't live without them. I think it's so important to keep all your connections live, always keep pursuing new opportunities with people, even if you can't see them fitting in with you, if they're not part of your target demographic or they're not part of who you think you are as a brand, keep them around because you never know who they know or who they can plug you into. It's funny how the opportunities that you least expect usually turn out to be the best ones. So these are gonna be my five best tips for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, subscribe, and then leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. If you're an entrepreneur and you have another tip that you think would help people, leave it down below. We can start a discussion. Um, and yeah, thanks you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.